Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to my walkthrough for Big Nate Island. This is going to be a full walkthrough with audio commentary, which I've decided to do on all my full walkthroughs from now on, because I've noticed that in some of my walkthrough videos, people ask, why did you do this, or how do you do that? And I figured with audio commentary, I can explain the small details that you wouldn't normally catch in just watching the video and listening to music. Before we get started, take a second to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see other Pop Tropical walkthroughs in the future. Here we go in Big Nate Island. So first, talk to Nate. And then head into the pop-in shop. You don't really need to talk to Big Nate's father, just hop up to the third floor, run over to the couch, and pick up the first piece of the comic. You're going to need to collect eight pieces of the comic, so that's what we're going to do now. Head out of the pop-in shop. Past the comics shop for now. You don't need to go into the common room. Head into the camera store. As soon as you go in, just head over to the right, jump up on top of the desk, and you can pick up the second piece of the comic. Don't really need to do anything here, so head out. Now head up to the top here, jump up the telephone pole, and you can collect the third piece of the comic. Then we'll just head to the next screen. We're going to skip the school for now because we're going to have to come back to it anyway. So keep going to the right. Now head up this gym. And you'll see the comic start floating above you. You see it up there? Just grab it and that's the fourth piece of the comic. Don't need to do anything else here right now, so head back down and over to the right. Now there's two things you're going to want to grab here and they're both up at the top. First thing is head all the way to the top of the lighthouse, up to the artist level, and then look through his telescope. Make it go all the way to the right until you see where it says, what's that under the rock? Great. Now head all the way to the top and grab the fifth piece of the comic. Now as you fall down, you're going to notice there's another piece of paper flying. You'll need to get that. It's a photograph. So just head up a little bit jump off and grab it. Okay, now head to the left. We just have a few more pieces of the comic to collect, so let's head to the school. All you need to do is jump up this scaffolding and you'll see the comic right on top of the bricks. So now you have six pieces. There's two more inside the school, and we'll grab those, and then we can put them together. So right here on the right, you can see it right next to the speaker. Jump up. And the last one's in the science lab. But before we grab the last page, we need to make a stink bomb. Here's how you do it. Take some of the blue and pour it in. Until there's a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. Then put the yellow. And go until it turns kind of a dark green color, like that. Then just turn on the burner. It doesn't matter what you really turn it to, three or four, it doesn't really matter. And it'll make the stink bomb. Now just head over to the left, jump on top of Mr. Bones there, and pick up the last piece of the comic. Now we have all eight. So head out of the science lab and then run to your left until you see the lockers. Now, let's put the comic together. So the easiest way to do this is if the letters are on top of the comic strip, put it on the bottom. And if the letters on the bottom of the comic strip, put it on the top. And once you get it all together, it says locker combo 9305. And you have to put it together to be able to do the locker combo. So then just click it nine times. Nine, three times, three, 
Don't click that one. <laughs> and then click this one five times. 9305. Now just head back over to the locker and you'll pick something up. This is the school blueprint which we'll need in a minute. So let's head back out and we're going to go to the camera shop. So run to the left. Now when you go in the camera shop, head to the left and talk to the owner and give him the old picture that you found and swap it out for the scuba gear, which we're going to need in a minute as well. Now run to the left and head into the comic book shop. Now that we've assembled the comic, he's going to give us something in exchange for showing him the comic. Now we have the bubble gum, which we're gonna need in a minute as well. Head to your right. And right again. And now we're going to head into the school. Now, open up your inventory and click on the bubble gum to chew it. And we'll get called over for detention. Now that we're in detention, we need to get out. So what you do is open up your inventory and click on the stink bomb. And you'll place the stink bomb and the teacher will leave. Now we haven't examined the blueprint, but it shows you there's an underground passage, which is right here. Click there and then go down. As you drop off, there's a switch right next to the elevator there. And you don't really need to talk to him, but you do need to jump up and grab the bell clapper. Now jump on top of the cabinet and head back out. Head out of detention and then we'll head out of the school. Keep heading to the right. There's, a, there's something to do in the clubhouse up above, but we'll wait on that. So now that we have the diving suit, we can go fetch the lobster trap for this guy. So go ahead and put it on. And jump into the water. As soon as you're in the water, head all the way over to the right until the screen stops moving and then head down. You'll want to avoid those bubbles because they'll carry you to the surface and you won't be able to stop. Once you keep going down, you'll see that. And there you go, the lobster trap. Now you can just let your oxygen run out because you'll never make it to the surface in time anyway. And it'll start you over there, but just swim straight to the surface because you already have the lobster trap. Now just click on the fisherman and he will give you the lobster that's inside the trap. He'll also let you take his jet ski for a ride by giving you the keys. So now we have to race Big Nate on the jet skis. The key to this is trying to get ahead of Big Nate as quickly as you can um, and try and time your jumps. That's all I can really say is kind of anticipate when something's gonna come. Um, I'm not that good at it. You'll see how many times I end up hitting the items. But once you get out in front of Nate, 
uh, you get a better view of the screen in front of you, so that's the best thing to do is try and get out in front of them as quickly as possible. You'll notice at the top, there's a green and orange dot. You're the green, he's the orange. As long as you are in front of him at the finish, you will win the race and you'll be able to go onto the seal rock. So just keep trying. Uh, see, I'm doing terribly, but it ends up working out in the end because I just get just ahead of him right at the very end. And you see I jump ahead, and there we go. That's all you have to do. Now that you've won, swim ahead and jump up onto this rock. And what you need to do is just push the two seals together onto, one, onto the left side. And since they're all there, just jump off. Go over to the right, and you can pick up the scroll. Now you have a map to where the time capsule is, which is what you're supposed to find. So now just head to your left. Now, one more thing we have to do in the lighthouse area. Jump up to the top of the lighthouse. Jump up past the artist to this lamp here. Now just open your items. Click on the lobster and use it. You'll use the lobster to turn the lighthouse light to the other side. And this will scare away the seagull so that we can put the bell clapper in. Now just drop off and head to your left. Now we'll head up to the last thing we need to do in the treehouse and just head into the top. And you need to do one on the left, but I'm not sure about the one on the right. So go ahead and go into this. This is just a game of hangman. What I do is I did the vowels first to kind of get an idea of what letters might be there. Then I just start picking letters like R, S, T, L, N, and E. And uh, this started to look familiar and then I realized it's just a telescope. So there we go. And once you get this right, Nate will give you the, the peanut butter crackers. And as you all know, dogs love peanut butter. <laughs> So now the table football. This is really hard. It took me a long time to figure out. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a primer. So you see how it's not quite pointing right in the middle. So if I did this right now, it would go over to the left. And by moving it left and right, you can see the angle changes and I can change the power. So this is probably going to miss to the left if I kick it. So I'll try it, but it's not going to work. So there you go. You see? Now this one, you see, you just want to put it in front, but it's not going to work. And the one on the left goes way too far to the right. So you have to use the left side and you need to use a lot of power. And I missed again. <laughs> so this one still can't put it right in front, but, and putting it to the right is the wrong side. So just a little bit, and then it's way up high. So use a lot of power. There we go. And this one, same thing. The left is too far. So we, we need to get all the way to the right. There we go. And finally, this one, again, we can't use it to the left, so we need to be to the right. And this one doesn't require a whole lot of power, and we'll just get it through. There we go. Three out of five. Now, since we've already done the stink bomb and everything, I don't know if we needed that. But for completeness, there it is. So now that we're done there, just one more thing to do before we can have the dog dig for the time capsule. Now jump up the scaffolding, and oops, <laughs> let's try that again. Jump up the scaffolding and onto the roof, and now we'll head up, and now that the bird's gone, we can replace with the bell clapper. So open up your inventory and pick out the bell clapper. Now that the bell is rung, the girls will come in from recess and leave the area empty where the dog can dig. Now just head to the spot shown in the map, right here, and open up your inventory. Click on the peanut butter crackers. And the dog will come and dig in the spot that you place the peanut butter crackers. And he exposes the time capsule. Now just click on the time capsule and drag it up. 
Then click the lock to open it, and you'll find the pearl inside. And that would be it. You will complete the island and get the medal. Now that you've completed the island, I hope you enjoyed my walkthrough. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon, and thanks for watching.